literally every fandom that I'm in right now, every single band has been dropping new music and I cannot handle it. Well, hello everyone. This video is about the struggles of being a fangirl. So if you're a fan of a lot of YouTubers or bands, you will know that being a fangirl comes with some struggles. The first one is not having any money to buy any new things. It kind of sucks because you want to have everything that you can of that band or YouTuber, but you can't because you don't have any money and you already have a lot of things. And you also get no sleep because of them, because you're waiting for new music or new videos to go up and you're basically up all night just looking at through their Twitter and all their videos and all that kind of stuff and you're just basically stalking them all night and you get no sleep. You also really don't have a social life whenever you're a fangirl of famous people because you spend the majority of your time online stalking their Twitter and looking through all their new stuff and you just don't talk to anybody because that's just the way it is, that's the life of a fangirl. And then sometimes you even let it affect your schoolwork and you sometimes maybe miss school to go to a concert or to a meetup that that person is having. You love them so much and you would do anything to meet them and that's why you have to miss school. You also get called crazy whenever you put so much time and money into them and you're just like, it's not, I'm not crazy, it's just love. I'm so in love with that band or person so therefore I'm not crazy. You also start to develop some trust issues whenever they always are like, oh, well, I'm working on secret projects or this will be out tomorrow, but it really doesn't happen and you never get to know what those projects are for at least a couple months. And you also start to hate watching live streams because how it always buffers and people comment all the time and it makes things go slower and you're just like, you really need to stop commenting on this because I need to watch my favorite person and you're disrupting that. And this is probably the biggest one. You really start to hate the word soon. But fangirling only doesn't come with feelings, it also comes with several stages. The first stage is curiosity. This is a stage when you first find out about this person or this band, you're like, hmm, I like this stuff, I'm gonna start learning more about them. The second stage is research. This is whenever you start to go through all their previous history and learn more about this band or YouTuber, and you look at all the things that they've done, and you just figure out what kind of position they're in right now. And then once you've done some research, you start to notice that the band or YouTuber releases a lot of new things all at once and then it becomes stressful because you have to start to keep up with the things that they're actually doing. And then once you start to really fall for this person or band, you of course have to go tell others. So therefore, the next stage is informing people about them. You're, you're trying to get the word out and you're trying to get them noticed and you're like, oh my god, you really gotta go check this person or band out, I'm so in love with them. And then the next stage is whenever you can't stop watching and listening to them. I'm currently in this stage right now, and let me tell you, it's really hard to get out of it. And then the next stage is probably one of the scariest ones. This is the heart attack stage. This stage is whenever they announce tours and book tours that they're going on, and then you start freaking out and you're like, oh my god, mom and dad, I need to get tickets to this because I have to go meet this person, they're my favorite person in the world. Whenever the tickets go on pre-sale, that's whenever your heart attack happens. You're like, oh my god, oh my god, I have to get these tickets in a hurry, otherwise I'm not going to get a good seat. And then comes the hatred stage. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy, but once you've been in love with someone for so long, you actually start to hate them and you're like, oh my god, I'm sick of you. But then the next stage is forgiveness because obviously you can't stay mad at them for too long because you're so in love with them. And then the last stage is whenever you just basically enjoy and you start worshipping that band and you do anything for it. This is the best stage to be in because it's the most relaxing. But then you get to go through all the stages and feelings again. It's a never-ending cycle. Once you have gone through all these feelings and completed all these stages, congratulations, you are now a fangirl of that YouTuber or person, or band. And then the real struggle happens whenever you have multiple YouTubers and bands that you fall in love with. And then you go through those cycles ten times harder than anybody else. So that's it for this week's video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you benefit from it and you start to know what being a fangirl actually is like, or fanboy, doesn't matter, gender barriers don't exist. If you can relate to this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below what stage or feeling you're currently in and tell me some of the YouTubers or bands that you're in love with and maybe we can be best friends because we can fangirl over someone together. I'll see you next time. Bye! I have recently become obsessed with a new band. Yeah, I, I don't need any more. I already have enough and the bands that I love already cost me enough money the way it is. But I know I'm a little late on the train to like be a fan of them, but I 
am obsessed with pentatonics. Yes, I I just love them. I've list, I have all their albums on my phone, and I've been listening to them for about two weeks straight now. And Five Seconds of Summer has released a new song. It's called Hey Everybody. Go check it out on iTunes. I still haven't heard it just because I've been listening to Pentatonics, and Five Seconds of Summer is basically one of my favorite bands. I would do anything for that band. 